Courtney Kemp took to Instagram yesterday to talk all things power and the season finale. She revealed quite a few interesting things which I'm going to be talking about in this video from Kane Tahada to the Tahada's backstory that will be coming in later seasons and whether Ghost knew the Tahada's. So I'm talking all the main points from Courtney Kemp's live Q&A. So welcome back to MovieBot. Let's talk about Power Book 2, Ghost. everyone that cares about me. I put myself on the line for you one too many times, Rick. You lied to me. You stole from me. If you do this shit, you can never go back. Even my father. But even he couldn't see until it was too late. So hope you're doing great this evening and with Courtney Kemp doing a live Q&A yesterday, I was definitely watching and I've made a few key talking points from the Instagram live Q&A, breaking down what we know, what she's hinted at and what we can expect in future seasons as well. But first, if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already, remember to smash the subscribe button. But let's get straight in with this live Q&A that Courtney Kemp did and talk about the main talking points. And let's start with Kane and Lorenzo because although there was a confusing dialogue between Kane, Monet and Lorenzo, Courtney has cleared it up and said Kane is definitely Lorenzo's son. So that puts that to bed. She also said that we'll learn a lot more about this in season 2, especially with Kane and the Tahadas. And Kane's name is actually Lorenzo Tahada Jr. Some of you may actually remember in one of my videos, I looked at what Tariq found when he searched up the Tahadas in the very first episode. And I questioned who Lorenzo Tahada Jr. was, but that's Kane. But his name Kane actually comes from his nickname Hurricane because he was always running around. And we're going to learn a lot more about the Tahadas in season 2. And this is something I'm so glad we're getting. And she really loves Woody McLean who plays Kane. She actually described him as spellbinding. And on Diana, she said that there's great things to come from her in season 2 as well. So I think we can rule out Diana and Kane dying in the season finale. Now, this is one of the main questions that I always get in the comment section. And I'm so glad Courtney Kemp spoke about this yesterday. And the question that I keep getting in the comment section is, how does Monet or the Tardis not know who Ghost is? And Courtney Kemp explained that Ghost in season 1 wasn't in the streets much and they lined up the timelines in a specific way where Monet doesn't know who Ghost is coming from Brooklyn. So Monet doesn't know who Ghost is but going forward we'll find out that Lorenzo may be able to put the pieces of the puzzle together about Tariq St. Patrick and whether he knows who he is and if he's Ghost's son. So this is one to definitely keep an eye on and now having said that I think Lorenzo may be playing a bigger role in season 2 than at first thought. But I'm glad that she cleared that one up with Monet and not knowing James St. Patrick or Ghost so yes people knew James St. Patrick but they didn't know he was Ghost. And a Monet backstory, this is something I want to know more about as well with Monet because I feel her character is really growing in the season and seasons to come depending on however long Power Book 2 Ghost goes on for. This is something I'm excited to learn about which is Monet's backstory and a little more about the Tardis just in general. Now Tommy Egan, let's talk Tommy Egan because of course people were going to ask her the question again, when are we going to see him again and of course she wasn't going to answer the question. But she did say that if someone did say that I killed my best friend when I didn't, they'd want to speak to them about it. So she hinted that the storyline between Tommy and Tasha isn't finished and whether this can happen in the last episode is yet to be seen so let's just park this one but this is something I do think we'll see sooner or later. And staying on the topic of Tasha, she also said that who knows, Tasha could stay in jail. So this is definitely not giving anything away in terms of uh, Tasha's case and Tariq taking the stand in the final episode because I'm sure there's going to be some twists and turns to come. And she really likes Tasha, Notori Norton and her character. She loves pushing the female power, exploring vulnerability, which we've kind of seen her do through Tasha and Monet as well. But let's stay with the St. Patrick's and move on and talk about Tariq because she's known Tariq since she was 11. She's been working with him for a very long, long time. Tariq is going to be in season 2, no doubt, and someone asked a question, who could teach Tariq the way of the streets? And she mentioned that Tariq has been taught by quite a few people, which is Kanan, Tommy, Ghost, and a little by Tasha as well, which we saw in the back end of the season in Tasha's daycare. But she also did tease that in season 2, he's going to get a couple of new teachers in the game. And I've spoken previously about how Tubit could be that guy for Tariq. So could Tubit be one of them that she possibly hinted at? And because they focused heavily on ghost Rolex that Tubit has been wearing, I really wonder whether Tubit can be that teacher for Tariq in the streets. And after he's earned Tubit's respect or however it happens, I do believe that watch eventually will end up on Tariq's wrist. And will Tariq ever get out of the game? Courtney Kemp still hasn't made up her mind about this. She said that she wants to explore Tariq a little more and Tariq said that all drug dealers either end up dead or in jail. But Tariq said he has a third option. So let's wait and see what this third option is. Now let's talk hallucinations and flashbacks because I made a video before Power Book 2 started and I said I would love Power to you know give us more hallucinations and flashbacks 
and this is something I'm so glad they've been doing with the original scenes from the original Power series and she hasn't ruled out Ghost being in hallucinations for Tariq and that's something they've seriously discussed. We've seen Tariq having hallucinations of Kaden before so why not Ghost and I'm really glad that they're exploring the possibility of doing this because I just want to see that conversation between Tariq and Ghost even if it's just playing out in Tariq's mind as a hallucination. Now Davis McLean, she also touched on the fact that he has a brother, he has other siblings and she has an idea of who she wants to play Davis McLean's wife but she hasn't quite secured the actor as of yet so I do think we'll see more of Davis McLean's backstory in season 2 and maybe his relationship with Carrie. Courtney Kemp also touched on Carrie because she does have a background as a prosecutor and she also knows Davis McLean as she warned Tariq in the episode The Prince that Davis McLean is always looking out for number one and that's himself. So this is one to just park and keep our eyes on. But let's move on and talk a little about Riley and Holly. She also touched on Riley and Holly's character, the comparison between the two and Riley's character she said that actually came from an idea from the fans during the original Power series. Some fans thought that Holly was an undercover cop so she thought what if that person in Tariq's life was an undercover cop. So this is where the idea came from but it's not exactly a direct Holly replacement. Now she also touched on Effie saying her mother is a mess and that her brother was killed so this is just the one to keep in mind. I do believe Effie's brother could have been the one killed by Jukebox because Effie did say that her brother was killed in a robbery gone wrong. But this is one that I'm not going to go into too much detail on because I actually want to make a separate video talking all things Effie this week about who her connect could be and why she still remains such a mystery so watch out for my video on Effie later this week. Now let's just talk about Power Universe just in general and Rashad Tate's spin-off is something that I've had questions on previously. She He's confirmed that his spin-off influence is up and running in terms of they are working on it so it hasn't been forgotten about they haven't scrapped it they're still working on bringing us this spin-off but with covid and everything it's complicated things in terms of timelines because she's not sure about when season 2 of power book 2 will be with us either and the final point i wanted to talk about was she was asked whether people will appear in other spin-offs and this is something i've spoken about previously and with courtney kemp creating this power universe i think it's a possibility but she said she doesn't know if Tariq will ever be on power book 4 force just yet People will be popping up though, but those were the main talking points from her live Q&A yesterday so drop me your thoughts down below on all of her points that she raised and one of the most exciting ones to take away from that one in my opinion is the Tahada backstory, Lorenzo potentially putting the puzzle together about who Tariq St. Patrick is, this is the one that I'm most excited to learn and know more about. You know did Lorenzo ever meet Ghost or Tommy, did Lorenzo ever work with Ghost or Tommy? So this is one just to keep an eye on in season 2 but that's what I can't wait to see so let me know what you guys can't wait to see based on what Courtney Kemp said and tomorrow I'll be back dissecting Tariq's storyline with him taking the stand so if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already remember to smash the subscribe button as well as having your notification bell turned on. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.